Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Daughters of Ash. We are back here again in the sewers, sluice works, I should say. And honestly, I'm just thinking about why the fuck we are here. Because we picked up the doll, the peculiar doll from the lower undead burg. And why the hell did I want to come down here? That's a very good question. We'll get some endurance and dexterity. Uh, let's turn back into human form while I think about this. I think it was because of the... The thing. The... Uh, the doll, right? Band of Undead Mar, blah 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 blah. What slumbering horror did they disturb and what attachment does it have to this child's toy? Hmm. This is an interesting question. Because I legit got no clue. I think I'm... Oh, no, 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 wait a second. I remember what I was saying. Hold on. We're all in the shit. Because what I said I would do... I remember everything now. I'm not stoned. Uh, I said I would go back to Andre. And we would start with upgrading our weapon. But... Oh shit, that does a lot. They just straight up killed me. Hold on. That didn't used to do that much damage, right? Fuck. Well. We're gonna stick with this. We are officially improving. Uh, yeah, I said I would go back and upgrade my weapon. And we would meet at Andre. Well, shit. It's been exactly two days. And I've forgotten everything I was doing. Which is... Well, that sucks. Uh, but getting out of here is not going to be too difficult. And getting back to Andre, really. Like, what you want, once you have this path unlocked, it's like... Ain't even a thing getting out of here. Uh, but yeah, we're back. Back to playing... The classic Do Dark Souls. Even though it's not a classic, because this is modded. But you know what I mean. It's kind of a weird contrast playing this versus uh, Demon Souls, which is the game I'm streaming on Twitch.tv, Mr. Sketchhead. If you haven't already followed me there, I'm just pushing it because I'm like uh, eight followers away from being able to get affiliate, and that would be cool to get affiliate on Twitch. So yeah, uh, go follow me there. Link is in the description, but stay for this video because we still got some adventures to go on, which is just about the cheesiest thing I could say. Uh, we'll go back, upgrade our weapon, and we'll see where we can go from there. I was think I think the plan was to go up to Sands, buy more large titanite from the homie and then upgrade my weapon to a point where I can actually take on the iron golem because the issue with the iron golem that was the, what the hell is going on did you see the there was like another one that just like flew off all right game cool ggs So yeah, the plan would be to get the Iron Golem. It's, I have like a theory. I'm 99% sure that it's not going to let me go to Anor Londo. Probably I need to find a way to ring that bell as well. Oh, and he's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't talked to him yet. Hello? Hello? Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? I am the primordial... Good old friend. 
I'm assuming he is unchanged. I haven't listened to this dialogue in ages. I don't even know what he says. Yes, of course. God, this thing is ugly. You can pan the camera. In, can't you pan the camera into his mouth? There is a square on the back of his head. Cool. You can still do the same things with him. Uh, those dudes have gone to the catacombs, but they don't have divine weapons. I'll just pick up. Well, it's probably not going to be an Anor Londo, but we'll see. I wonder if he still turns hollow. Huh. Okay. I guess he doesn't because it probably is triggered by ringing both bells. That means Lawtrek isn't gonna... He's still pissed. Man, he is pissed. Don't have Firekeeper's soul. He's just gonna stay pissed at me. I might as well kick him off the cliff, but... I think I promised that I would see this quest line through. Mm, so I want the oh Domal is here. That's cool. He's a lot more useful than all of the NPCs combined who sit in that corner there. So I'm not too pissed about that. I am pissed that I'm gonna sneeze right now. <sighs> so, anyways, I was just about to say. What? Used to summon magic projectile? Used to summon fiery explosion? So these like don't, straight up like don't do anything. Like the boss souls... Well, I'm assuming they're still used to make weapons. It's just weird because I'm thinking that I'm gonna need souls. Because uh, I have three large shards. So I'm just like thinking... On what I could do. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of like I want to try it, but I don't want to try it, you know. What does it do? Okay, so it doesn't give you... Oh, it just gives you a shit ton of stamina. Holy shit, that is a lot. That's interesting. Oh, but it drains your HP. Holy shit, okay. Is that like the... Is that like the trade-off? Man, that is not worth it at all. That's all you get from that? That, that sucks. No, not armor, reinforced weapon, Balder swag sword. Hey, I got it to plus nine. We need three large shards to get that sweet, sweet plus ten. We'll go up, try this iron golem, and then we'll go from there. Probably if I'm having this much trouble with the snakes, it doesn't like bode well for us. Anyways. Pop one of these. I don't even know if I have this bonfire kindled. It would be nice if I had it kindled. That would be... Uh, no! Are you kidding me? That was an accidental jump. I just... <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, why does it, like... It cannot happen in, like, a normal area, can it? 
Like it cannot, that cannot happen when I'm standing just in a room. No, the accidental jump has to happen in an area where I managed to yeet myself off the cliff. You know, that's just part of the YouTube acting game, you know. Gotta keep the folks entertained. We were talking yesterday about Twitch acting. You gotta do YouTube acting as well. Otherwise people are gonna get bored. That's how you get the money on YouTube. So anyways, yeah. Oh, speaking of money. That's, I'm never gonna have a chance to talk about this topic. I'm probably gonna rant on it on stream as well, but... There was an announcement yesterday for Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath. And man was I pissed when they announced it. If you don't know, if you don't keep up with MK, it's getting a second expansion pack. Story content, three new characters, with another goddamn guest character, who is Robocop. I'm so tired of uh, MK guest characters. Why can't they just put normal MK characters in the game? But yeah, that's not the point. The point is the fucking pricing. You know, I was... Listen. I supported MK11. I know it's Warner Brothers, they're a trash company, but all that. And all that. But I bought the premium edition, premium edition for the equivalent of like $90 when it came out last year. Meaning that I got Combat Pack 1. Uh, and obviously I knew there was going to be a combat pack too. It's inevitable. And now that it has technically been announced, it costs $40. $40 for like three more chapters of story, three characters and some skins. I was so pissed because here's the deal. To add insult to injury... The game will also be available separately for 60 bucks. And me and any other people who have bought Combat Pack 1 or were like early supporters of the game are pissed because that math just straight up doesn't work out that I have to buy the same content for $130 that people can buy for 60 and I should have done this before coming in here. Whatever. I'm not gonna waste one because this is the this is the test round. What? Are you kidding me? No. This is no. This is not this is not acceptable. This is Am I am I high? I think I'm high. Do you at least have friendly fire? Of course you don't. How did the Capra Demon show up in my fucking Iron Golem boss fight? It's gonna be screwing everything up. Oh shit, look at the damage. I think he did do friendly. He did do friendly fire. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? This is not like permanent, is it? He's not going to be showing up every single time because then that's going to be a very, very difficult fight. Speaking of difficult fights, back to more on combat. Uh, listen, I completely understand. Of course, games are going to get cheaper as time goes by. Of course. But I'm paying 40 bucks for the DLC. Somebody buying the game now can buy the whole thing for 60 with the content I've already bought for 90. The math, no, like, it just doesn't matter how you look at it, the math just doesn't add up and people are feeling really screwed and thank you. Has fled the great He's shooting at me. That motherfucker is shooting at me. They really like... 
are doing you dirty with this boss fight. So you fled to greater heights. He's gonna show up in Orstein and Smoke, doesn't he? If the developers of this are the kind of trolls I think they are, he's gonna they're gonna make him show up in Ornstein and Smo. Okay. Coming Fury or Crotch. Yeah, I couldn't position him in a way where he would fall off, but he's taking damage at least. Did he just one? He he just almost one shot me. This guy deals insane amounts of damage. Holy fuck! I mean, it has more of an impact to it. I kind of always felt like this guy was way too easy. He's supposed to be like the big, you know, gatekeeper to Anor Londo. And in the vanilla game, he's honestly kind of a bitch. Alright. Your crotch is getting destroyed. Dick stab. He couldn't take it. He just couldn't take it. Core of Sands Iron Golem. I wonder if it has more lore on it. Ah, uh, blah blah blah. Whose toiling at sands below's once lit Lord and Sky from dusk to dawn. When the forge's fire was extinguished, Lord Gwyn repurposed the golem into Anorlando's guardian. Oh, okay. So it is a little bit different. Interesting. I never knew... Yeah, there was extra lore here. The butterfly's gleam is an omen for stray maidens and the hulking crystal golems are never far behind. Okay, I got you. He's not going to let me up. Nope, I knew it. The pale servants have fled to the burial vaults. It's the catacombs, isn't it? Yeah, it's the catacombs. They're going to make us go to the catacombs. That was actually fairly easy. I'm really like not looking forward to that fucking troll ass Capra demon. Uh, he's gonna show up in another boss fight and screw me. I already know it. We are going to level. Actually. Actually, actually, actually. I think it would be maybe smarter to... Yeah, I think it's smarter to buy more large shards. Still have enough for levels as well. Just to get this weapon to... Finally get it to... Plus... 10. Cool. Yeah, shut up. Uh, so anyways... It's twice now. It's twice I've done that. These are, are unintentional, I swear. I know the Twitch acting is good enough that it's difficult to tell the difference, but... I swear it's not on purpose. Okay. So there's two possibilities. There's a possibility that they kept the skeleton mechanic where you cannot kill them. Unless you have a divine weapon. Or maybe they got rid of it. I would be so much happier if they got rid of that mechanic. Actually, I haven't been down here. It's supposed to be like treasure and shit. Or maybe not. Yes. Maybe yes. Am I using the... Okay. I, I still cannot... I should label my controllers. The Dark Souls controller and the don't use for Dark Souls controller. This is like 
How long has this been a problem? I swear this has been like a running meme on my channel for like a year and a half at this point. It's twinkling tight night. Cool. At least I know what it is. So we'll go back down. And then I guess we got to figure out the catacombs. Because I have no fucking clue where I'm going to get a divine weapon from. If... Actually, divine weapon needs green titanite, right? I have green titanite and I think I have a like some shitty weapon I can reuse. Maybe my... What was my starting weapon? The short sword. Yeah. But, since I don't trust this game, and let me tell you, I do not trust this game, we'll check it out first. I know you can get rid of the skeleton respawning by killing the channelers, but, hey, hello, free shard. There's one more thing I wanted to check out. I think somebody told me in a comment that I should check this area out, if I remember correctly. Where the golem is, or whatever, ogre, that opens the entry to Sans Fortress. This place. Interesting that fog walls respawn that didn't used to happen. Maybe it did, I just don't remember it. Not fog walls, but invisible walls, I mean. Apparently there's something here. You gotta kill the homie. Uh-oh. Okay, no full freak out. Only annoying thing about this guy is that you can never see their HP bar. Shoot you in the ass. Shoot you in the crotch. Okay, there he goes. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Chill out. Okay, that dud. <laughs> Did you see that? They like homed in on his dick. Okay, thanks camera. Whoa, camera. Hawk ring. We got the hawk ring and a tight night chunk. That's nice. Fuck off, mouse. Nice, hawk ring. I mean, I have nothing better to equip. Extends bow range. Pfft, why not? Again, until I get something better. It's like... Who cares? He gave me 5,000 souls, though. That's pretty good. All right, now we are back on track, going to the, oh shit, uh, reinforce web, bother swag sword to plus 10, and then modify blessed longbow, yeah you need green shards, you need a plus 5 for it. Thing is, if I get it wrong, I'm gonna have to like backtrack here like an idiot. So I might as well. I might as well just make it, right? Yeah, cause I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be like bothered to come back here. Cool. Oh wait, can you get it even further upgraded? Shit, if I can. Yeah, I have plenty of green titanite, what am I doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Even better, we covered all our bases. Uh, two humanities. I ain't doing too hard on the humanities, I'm not gonna lie. I always say I will do this. Organize my... oh shit. Organize my things. I should. Uh, do we need anything else? Claymore, no. Flambridge, no. Stone Great Sword, no. Zweihander, no. Fashion, no, no, no. Shitty. Well, not shitty, but you know. Not needed for the boy. I like having a... Cleaned up inventory, you know. We'll keep one of these, like, super parrying shields. Keep grass crest. Okay. I'll, I'll bring this back. I think the serrated knife is, like, bleeding, right? That's the only thing I can think of. I don't even know if there is a bleed path. Maybe they added one. Cool, so we'll take a look around in the burial vaults. Obviously, bonfires are going to be moved. Like they always are. I still cannot one-shot you. Which is a little bit annoying. I'm assuming, like, I, I can't think of any other burial vaults they might be thinking of, so... Pretty sure I got the right idea. Do that's why I think I've said this before, right? That you do a lot more just like yo-yoing all over the place in this mod. Like I don't think I've ever I kinda want that though. But I think the rest of these souls are going to be for leveling if I can. Look at more endurance. More endurance never hurts. Let's see if we can actually put on a pair of gloves. No. Still, those gloves, man, are heavy as hell. What can you do? That means we'll have to fight pinwheel if we have to even get to that point uh we'll see about that i'm sure i am like almost certain they're gonna pull some trick with pinwheel they might be pulling some tricks here oh shit oh hello my guests have finally arrived i will be departing with you. didn't know you moved here and there's no skellies here saying goodbye soon it was a pleasure this looks way better that they're here and she's praying at the grave <laughs> unchanged unchanged hello you are undead as well you need no time to fraternize this is about the best wife who we can get in this game Cool talking to you. Now, how do you get to that treasure? Nice touch with the soul of a lost cleric. Are we gonna get the renamed area? Hit me with that rename. Maybe not. Okay, I don't like how empty this is. Like my expectations are to be assaulted by a giant group of skeletons and it just ain't happening. Nice touch with the bonfire though. Next to this skelly. 
Where are we? Can you even check? Probably not. Oh man, I really want to be in human form, but I can never stay in it. That is the main issue. Hmm. When you kill those... Normally the skeletons don't die along with him, do they? Because here they died. That is interesting. Bone chimney. <laughs> the bone chimney? <laughs> it's a pretty good name. Hey girl, you want to see my bone chimney? Oh, they're going to fill the place with these dudes. Um, aren't they? Yup. This is going to be the main enemy. Luckily... I think I'm fairly overpowered for this area, maybe. I still want to give it a try. What do you think about this, Skelly? It works. It still works. I am liking that. I'm probably going to be able to, like, rip through this area. Hell fucking yeah. We got a humanity out of it, too. I haven't been paying attention to my time. Did you see that clutch backstab? That saved me from the... That saved me from the fireball. I got these clutch moves. Always. Target buckler. Interesting. They just had to rename it, right? Weren't happy with target shield. Technically it's not a shield, it's a buckler. They are correct. Progression is looking the same, although there's not much you can change with this area. Actually, this area is fairly linear. Was that switch always there? I don't know. Some of these things, you know... That's what the mod does, you know, especially when you have, you don't have a com comprehensive list of the changes. You know, I keep thinking, is this new? Is, was this always there and I just don't pay attention to it? Fucking Hawkeye. I do have the ring. Which means I should probably use my bow and arrow more. Because that was actually fairly powerful. I still think you can... Ouch. I still think you can probably... Uh, drop down through this area, right? Man, these guys are giving a lot of humanity. But you know, the thing is I want to see this area. What tricks it's gonna play. Wonder. Oh, the Wanderer stuff. I kinda like that set. Now, see, the problem here is that at this point I've committed to the area. Even though I think I've run out of time for this episode. Technically, you know, there is no such thing as running out of time. Okay. Okay, 
the game has decided for me what's going to go down. It's pretty much said... That, man, that's a giant fuck you. And that's the third time that happened in this episode. So that's definitely a sign that I should wrap it up here, which I am going to do. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Daughters of Ash. Man, sometimes YouTube acting is fun, but sometimes it just gets you, you know, unexpected plot developments. Yeah, see you next time. Peace out.